Hello, Sean Coltis here with Katana. I'm really excited to walk you through an overview of how Katana can work with Shopify, help businesses manage their inventory and fulfill their orders, and then gather that information and send it over to QuickBooks so you can manage your financials all within that online tech stack of Katana, Shopify, and QuickBooks Online. So let's take a look. What is Katana? So Katana is a cloud-based inventory management solution that helps businesses manage their inventory, their manufacturing processes, pull in their orders from different sales channels such as Shopify, and then integrates with their financial solution like QuickBooks Online to keep their business running smoothly. So let's take a look at, at an example. So for example, this product here, Majuri, is an online um, ring that can be bought through a store. So if a business owner or business was selling their products online, you might go in and say, well, I'm, the client's gonna buy this gold product and it's gonna be size five. They're gonna add that to the bag and make a purchase. So when that occurs, if they're utilizing Shopify, that's gonna come in as a Shopify order. So let's take a look at what that order looks like. So 1009 is how that order is populated here. So we can see there's actually two things on this order. There's a Charlotte Slim Ring Gold and there's a Charlotte Slim Slim Ring Gold as well. So there's, um, there's two products here and we can see the price points that have been brought in. So if we were to go and see how this order then appears over in Katana, in real time, when that order is entered into the system, you can see this order number 1009 is now gonna populate over into Katana. So here in Katana is our sales screen. And this is where you're gonna see all of your orders gathered across your multiple different sales channels. So you might be selling through Amazon, you might be selling through Shopify, um, whatever the case may be, maybe you're doing some wholesale and direct orders and entering those manually into the system. But this is the place where all those orders will be gathered in together. And you can actually break this up by location. So you might have a point of sale Shopify location. You might have an online um, warehouse where you're managing your inventory and, and fulfilling orders. And so those multiple locations can also get managed within Katana. So as we can see here on my screen, I've got a bunch of different orders that are currently in that open status. So they're waiting to be fulfilled. Katana's got this wonderful stoplight functionality that really gives you an idea of where this order is at in the production cycle um, and the fulfillment status. So for example, if we look over at the sales column here, we can see, do I have those finished products available in stock and can I fulfill that order? And the system actually identifies for me when I should be able to fulfill that order based on my current inventory status of that product. So if I make or if I buy that product in, it's going to indicate the purchase order or the manufacturing order arrival date or completion date at my facility, which lets me know when I can actually go out and fulfill that order based on when it's expected to be available in stock. We can also see there's items that are highlighted in green. That indicates to me that I've got that product in stock. And here you can see that it's in a picked status, meaning that um, my employees actually gone out, they picked that product and it's ready to be fulfilled and shipped out to that customer. On the second column here, we can see we have our ingredients. So if you manufacture your product or you kit, uh, kit and bundle some things together, do we actually have the ingredients that make up that finished product available and in stock? So green means I do have those ingredients available. Red means I don't have those ingredients available and I might need to go out and purchase some product to help me fulfill that. And then we have production. So have we started our job in production and are we ready to go um, run, these, uh, run these jobs and complete them and then fulfill the order? So first let's take a look at, so we've got this demand coming in, uh, the systems indicating where we can fulfill orders, when we're going to be able to fulfill them by, but that's a lot of information to gather. And one of the biggest challenges we hear from manufacturers that we work with is that they have a hard time identifying what they actually need to go and manufacture or what they need to go and buy based on what they're planning on selling, what they're planning on doing as a business. And inevitably, most businesses end up carrying way too much inventory in stock. They're going out to market, they're buying or they're making a bunch of product just to make sure that they aren't late on fulfilling a customer order. 
So in Katana, let's take a look at how we can help businesses plan and right size their inventory based on what their marketing strategies are, as well as their historical sales. So let's go into our planning module here. So our planning module gives you a visualization of what you currently have in stock based on your current uh, product demand. So I had a filter in there, but let's take a look at what I have in stock. So this is across all of my different items and I can see my existing stocking levels and what I have in present week. And then it's gonna allow me to see week over week how much inventory I currently have in stock. And, and it also allows me to see the demand of where that's coming. So I can visually see here how many weeks of inventory I currently have and how long I'm gonna have that inventory in stock based on the demand and forecasted sales, sales of that product. And I can very easily go into any one of these products. So for example, I wanna go and look at this Alpha Brain product here. I can see where the demand is coming from and I have this forecasted consumption. So based on my historical sales or my forecasted sales, the system has identified, I'm going to consume two pieces a week of that product. I currently have 66 in stock. So I won't need to replenish this for quite some time, okay? And I can even go into this inventory Intel uh, area that helps me understand exactly where all that demand is coming from, as well as anything that's gonna replenish that product. So I can see all the inventory um, uh, movements related to this product very easily within the system. But there's a lot of information on this screen for me to actually do something. So how do I action on it? How do I know what I need to go out and make? How do I know what I need to go out and buy? Well, let's take a look at this replenishment screen and the system's really going to help us identify what we need to go out and, um, and action on. So for example, uh, let's take a look at our products here. So products are things that we might make or at least that we sell. And I can see there's a number of items here that I can go out and manufacture. Uh, and I could just select the items that I want to go and manufacture and hit make. And the system's identifying how much I should go out and manufacture as well as what the suggested date I should go out and do this by based on when that demand is currently or where that demand currently sits within our system. On my material side, I can look at the things that I'm going to go out and buy. So for example, you know, based on that ring order that was put in, I have some requirements that I need to go out and fulfill. So I have some sterling silver I need to buy. I have a ring box. I even have some 14 karat gold that I need to go and purchase so I can go out and make that, that wonderful ring uh, for our client. So let's go out and go and hit the buy button. So now Katana is going in and allowing me to create that purchase order. So let's take a look at what that purchase order might look like. So over on that purchasing screen here, I can see I have my PO11. I buy this from my supplier. Um, we have um, the currency I'm purchasing this in. I have the items, my supplier item code, as well as my internal barcode. So if I wanted to use barcode scanning to receive in these items, I certainly can. And in this case, let's go ahead and receive this in. Um, so assuming we, you know, we mailed this out, we emailed this out to our supplier, and they've come back and, and, and shipped us this product uh, real fast, we can go and actually receive this in. So I'll hit receive all items. So I've now gone in and received this product in. If I wanted to go and add some additional shipping costs um, that came in from that product, I can go and add those shipping costs in here. Um, just move my head a little bit. So you have this additional cost button here that allows me to go in and add some additional landed costs that might be related to this. So maybe there was some shipping costs here that I wanna go and add into this product and that would divide that shipping costs across those different line items that are on that purchase order. I also have the ability right from here to shoot this purchase order over to QuickBooks Online. So I can go in and create the bill over in QuickBooks Online and access that directly from Katana if I need to. But that allows you to keep your uh, accounts uh, payable in sync with Katana and all your expenses are going to be uh, sitting over in QuickBooks Online as well as your inventory can be ma maintained in balance with the integration from QuickBooks over uh, into Katana. So if we wanted to view that I could just click this button here and it would actually take me directly over to QuickBooks. 
But sticking in Katana here, let's take a look now. We've got our materials in stock. If we actually were to go back to our sell screen where we started off uh, looking at our orders, we can see here now we've got this order 1009. We've got this production job in place. Uh, and we have two different orders here, one for our, our Charlotte Slim Ring size four and one for size five uh, in the gold. So let's take a look at this manufacturing order here. So in this order, I can see that I have my 14 karat gold and I have that currently in stock. I currently don't have my ring box in stock. I thought I had purchased it, but let's go and see what happened here. So uh, it looks like we have 20 pieces that are committed. So we're missing certain currently 10 pieces um, to go and replenish this. So let's go ahead and actually create a buy or a PO. So this is another way that you can go and create a purchase order within the system. One is through our planning screen, but the other can be directly through um, other areas within the system, which identify where you're short on material. So let's go create uh, and open that purchase order for our, our box, which we're currently short on. So I have my ring box sitting here. I'm gonna go in and receive all that uh, material. So that's gonna go ahead and update my inventory. So if I'm now going back to take a look at my cell screen here, um, and we go back to that uh, manufacturing order, we should see that we now have both of those items in stock. So this is the manufacturing order where we're going to produce the Charlotte Slim Ring, which was purchased online, came in through our, our Shopify store directly into Katana, created our sales order. From our planning screen, we actually went and created a purchase order for the materials that might, might be required to produce this item. And now we have our actual manufacturing process. So we can take a look here at the materials as well as the, um, uh, the operations. So this is gonna go through casting, cleaning, pre-polishing and setting as some operational steps that this job needs to complete. Now, from a scheduling perspective, you can actually go out and assign these to individual employees and track that through production. So if we were to go out over to our manufacturing screen here, we can see all of our different orders listed out. And my head is just way too big, so let's make my head a little bit smaller here. All right, so you can see all your orders um, listed out here, all your different manufacturing orders. You can drag and drop these orders to reprioritize them. And that's gonna communicate directly to the shop floor what jobs they should be working on. So in real time, I'm able to reorganize my schedule and then have my employees work on the right jobs at the right time. And I'll show you just how you communicate in real time with them through our, our shop floor application. So. We look at these different manufacturing orders. We've got them lined up, how we want them to run through our production facility. And then we have tasks associated to each one of those individual orders. So for example, if we go ahead and look at um, our ring that we're manufacturing, so we've got these, these rings, I can go in and actually assign tasks to specific employees. So I've now gone, I'm going through here, and I'm assigning tasks to myself. So as I assign those tasks to myself, I can then see those tasks show up on the shop floor on my device. So when we look at this device, for example, um, I currently am, and many of our customers operate their shop floor on some form of a tablet. And so I can see all the different jobs that are assigned to me. And I can see that I have this Charlotte Slim Ring. So I'm able to go in and start that job, run this through production. I can click into this if I want to see some more detail related to it. So I can see that I have the materials that are required on it. I can see the different operations that this job needs to go through. So casting, cleaning, pre-polishing, and any notes or attachments I can actually find directly in here as well. So if everything looks good and I'm done my operation, I'll click finished. And so that's gonna allow us to collect the real cost that's associated to that job, not only the materials, but the labor costs associated to going and producing that ring. So I've gone in and completed that step. Uh, so those, that step is now completed. Um, and if I go back to my list, that's gonna be removed there and I can go on to that next project or, or task that I need to complete. 
<laughs> and that's how in Katana, we're going to collect that really accurate real-time job costing of that individual job. So as we go and look at our manufacturing orders, we can see we've got two manufacturing orders here. I can go and select these orders and I'm going to say that I've actually completed those. So let's just assume these went, ran through production. Oh, I need the batch tracking data. So let's go in here. What do we need to do? I need to put in the batch number. So I, you can automatically have the system assign batch numbers. You can put in expiration dates as well. And that's why we have really good success with, uh, with food and beverage companies. But uh, jewelry companies also often need batch number uh, functionality. So I got to put my batch number in on that manufacturing order. I likely have to do that on here as well, because that's a requirement. If you batch track an item, you're going to need to put in that batch number. So I've got my batch numbers completed. Um, so back on my scheduling tab here, I can select those two manufacturing orders and let's go ahead and complete them. So I'm going to go in here, production status and hit done. So I've now completed those orders in the system. If I go back to my cell screen here, I can see here that now the inventory is available and completed for my job 1009. It's just updating here um, that it is now uh, available and completed. So let's just take a look here and see what's happening with that order. So it's expected. 1009 MO14. Very quickly here, we'll take a look. And this is done. It's just taking a second to update on our sales screen. And it's updated there. Okay. So we've got our order 1009. We have the materials in stock. And I can move this now to a, um, uh, a packing status. So I can say pack all. And that's going to indicate to my shop floor employee. I'm going to say which um, batch they're going to be picking from uh, production or from our warehouse. So I'll put that on here. And now that we've got this item identified that it's ready to be picked and it's in this ready to be packing status, we can go and take a look at our packing tool uh, and our warehouse device to see how our employees on the shop floor would know what jobs they need to pack. So if I jump over here to my uh, device, often uh, an employee would use <clears throat> some form of mob mobile device, be it a, a integrated scanner or uh, just a, a tablet like this. And so now if the employee is ready to go and pick this, they can go in, select the uh, item that they're going to be picking, and they can simply use a barcode scanner once they've sit, hit start task. So now I've started this task, I've got the item that I'm going to be picking right here. And so then I can simply scan that item. It's going to indicate that this item must be picked from a certain batch. I'll confirm that, that that is the batch. We have our quantity and we'll then apply that. Uh, and now this ring has been picked. Um, if you wanted to manually pick that item, you can just simply confirm the quantity that you're picking and apply. So whether you're using the barcode scanning function to ensure that you're picking the right product, you can do that or you can simply just select the item that you are picking. We'll then go ahead and finish that task and it will then complete that task. So over now on our screen, we'll show that this item or this line item 1009 has moved to a packed status and we're ready to go and ship this out. Um, so at that point, all we would need to do is say deliver all. That would update the status over in my Shopify store uh, and indicate that this order has been fulfilled. We also can integrate with different shipping solutions such as ship to or ship station to help connect that shipping platform um, uh, to um, your either Shopify store or directly to Katana. So that's a quick overview of how Katana can link to your Shopify store through to your inventory management, as well as your financial solution in QuickBooks Online to help you manage your inventory, ensure that you're filling your, fulfilling your orders in a timely fashion accurately, as well as ensuring you're not carrying too much inventory and can manage that appropriately, keeping your customers happy and satisfied with shorter lead times. Thank you so much for an opportunity to walk through the Katana software. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. I hope you have a great day.